So we had this weird season in my hometown of Augusta, Georgia this year called spring. We usually don't get it. We go from a very long fall right into a very long summer. But every now and then we get this weird little thing called spring. So this guy decided to take advantage of a nice spring night, go for a little run. Uh, I do it occasionally because I suppose it makes me healthier. It certainly makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my body. But with that said, exercise and glaucoma actually have been tied together as having a possible relationship for years. It's well known that aerobic exercise and resistance exercise, i.e. lifting weights, has been known to at least transiently reduce intraocular pressure. Of course, this should not come before the anti-glaucoma medications that we have commercially available, which are much better at lowering intraocular pressure. Um, with that in mind, a very popular exercise these days is yoga. And we think, well, yoga, that's got to be good for everything, right? And it typically is. It increases flexibility, it can lower blood pressure, it can lower stress, and these, these, are, all, these are all conditions that can, that can, that can potentiate in inflammation, amongst other things. However, if you're, if you're doing a lot of yoga and your head is either supine or worse yet, in a downward facing position more often, that could actually be detrimental to glaucoma. That could actually make your eye pressure go up. So if you have a patient who does a lot of yoga, you may want to ask that patient, is your head supine or downward facing most of the time? If they're a glaucoma patient or a glaucoma suspect, it may be a tree worth sniffing up.